Uh, citizens should expect, one, to have uh, delays if they're traveling in the area of Washington Street South and Orchard Drive. Also, uh, we're putting a boil order into effect. Uh, we're asking citizens to either drink bottled water or to boil any water that they may be drinking. The boil orders for uh, homes that are south of Park Avenue. This is not a declaration of emergency. We're just asking citizens to do the bare minimum. So turn off sprinkler systems. If you don't need to use that potable water in your home, please don't. But continue to do things like wash your hands and um, you know uh, do things that are just you know the basic necessities. We also expect that there's going to be a reduced pressure uh, for most people's water uh, that's coming into their homes. So um, these are some of the things that uh, uh, unfortunately citizens will have to. We're asking citizens to be patient with us. Um, and to work through this. We're working as fast as we can to uh, expose the water line and get it repaired as quickly as possible so that we can restore that service. So this is one of our uh, water lines that feeds our potable water system. We actually have three that uh, come from three different pumping stations from Blue Lakes and then from two others in South Twin Falls or south of Twin Falls. Uh, those pumping stations that are south of Twin Falls um, have arsenic levels that are just a little bit above what the federal uh, what the federal mandate is, and so we have to mix uh, the three the three water supply systems to meet that minimum uh, uh, to get just below that uh, maximum arsenic level. This is one of the uh, what we call the arsenic lines coming from South Twin Falls that feeds the potable water supply. So we're not operating at a maximum capacity. Um, that's also one of the reasons why we're asking citizens to conserve water because uh, not operating at maximum capacity means that uh, we're unable to supply uh, the amount of water that we're normally doing on an average day. It's not situation critical right now. Uh, all we're doing is we're trying to stay ahead of this and make sure that we conserve as much water as possible.